Hello YouTube, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Sabina and welcome to Nutrition for Foodies. Today we're going to be making not really a healthy meal. This video is last minute but I had to make something for Super Bowl. Today I am making a barbecue chicken dip with gluten free chips. First things first, I have a pan and I'm just going to be making my tortillas first. So I have a pan right there and I am just going to cut my gluten free brown rice tortillas. I got these from Trader Joe's if you saw my uh, Trader Joe's haul. See they're gluten free. So I have coconut oil spray. Um, you don't have to have the oil spray, but I do prefer the spray than just regular oil. This also has less calories. So I just sprayed the pan. And I'm gonna lay these out. Spray the side of the chip. Make sure you get a good quote of spray. And I'm going to season this. So I have some black pepper. Some garlic powder. I love garlic powder. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell by now. I have some cumin, some cumin powder. Uh, if you don't have cumin powder, you don't have to use this. I'm just gonna sprinkle that. So I'm just going to sprinkle this. Oops, that was my phone. Sprinkle this all over the chips. If you don't have cumin powder, you don't have to use it. Anything you don't have, you don't have to use. And now I have some just regular chili powder. I'm gonna sprinkle that on here as well. Looks like this is kind of dry. Just sprayed some more um, of the oil. I'm just gonna spray the chili powder. And if you don't like spicy, of course you don't have to use this. And you know what else you could do? You could also buy um, the cheese flavored, the cheese flavor of, um, you know, the nachos cheese flavored powder, and you could put that on here as well. I'm just gonna. Spread this around with my fingers. I'm gonna turn these around. And I'm just gonna do the same to the other side. Okay, I'm just gonna put this in the oven on um, 350 degrees. I'm just going to chop up some garlic. I have two cloves of garlic. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my flame on on medium high. My garlic and I have onions here too. So garlic. You don't want to turn the heat up high because you don't want this garlic to burn. Camera just stopped working out of nowhere. It just got blurry. Um, so I didn't get to record the fact that I put onions in here, but I let the garlic brown a little and then I just added my onions. And then to this, I'm going to just add some garlic powder, some black pepper. Let me just add salt to this. Not a lot of salt because my barbecue sauce has a lot of salt already in it. I'm 
just gonna add my chicken to this. And this is cooked chicken, like this is pre-cooked. So I know I'm gonna get a few comments saying why is it on the same um, cutting board. It's cause it's pre-cooked. My chips are almost done. So this is the sriracha and roasted garlic barbecue sauce from Trader Joe's. I'm not sure if I said this already, but you could use whatever skillet that you have. You don't have to use a cast iron skillet. So I'm gonna turn the stove off and I'm going to add my barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna turn my stove off now and I'm gonna add some of my garlic barbecue sauce. About, uh, about one ounce or two ounces. So that's about one ounce. That's about two ounces. You don't wanna leave the stove on while you're while you're adding the barbecue sauce because it's going to splatter. Um, so to this, I'm just gonna add some cheese. Of course, you could add whatever cheese that you like. I just have a Mexican style cheese blend. I'm gonna mix this up. I have my bowl here. I'm going to add all of this goodness to my bowl. I have my bowl of chicken barbecue and I'm just going to add some more barbecue sauce over this, about an ounce again. And some more cheese. And here we have the cheese. There you have it guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, my name is Sabina and um, I make videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays, so don't forget to hit the subscription button. Until next time, bye bye.